I like turtles, especially snapping turtles. They remind me of dinosaurs. I try to help them if I can. One of the ways I help snapping turtles is rescuing their eggs from predated nests. The picture that you are looking at right now is of a predated nest. Here you see in my hand eggs that have been eaten by a predator. What is a predated nest? A predated nest is a nest that has been dug up by a predator. Different animals eat turtle eggs and baby turtles. These animal predators will dig up a turtle nest and eat the turtle eggs. The hole you see in the ground is the hole that was dug by the mama turtle and she buried her eggs under the ground. And you can see all of the eggs that have been eaten. There are eggshells scattered everywhere here. Some predator had a very good meal. Raccoons, foxes, skunks, opossums, and other animals eat turtle eggs. Most of the time, when you see a predated nest, all of the eggs have been eaten. But sometimes I do find eggs left in the nest. If I do find eggs that have not been eaten, I place them safely in a container and take them home to incubate them. Sometimes the container is my hat. When I get the eggs home, I put them in an incubator. Here is a picture of the incubator I use. Now you can see the eggs that were placed inside of the incubator. It takes two to three months for turtle eggs to hatch. Now it is time to wait. I found the batch of eggs you saw in my hat on May 20th, 2023. I put them in the incubator that same day. The end of May or beginning of June is peak turtle nesting time in this area of Pennsylvania. That means I will have to wait till August until the eggs hatch. I check on the eggs every day. I check the temperature and the humidity in the incubator to make sure everything is okay. I check and I wait. 77 days later, on the morning of Monday, August 7th, there were two turtle heads poking out of their shells. The hatchling turtles have a tiny egg tooth under the tip of their nose that they use to break open the shell from the inside. The process of breaking open the shell is called pipping. Usually takes a day or two for the hatchling turtle to completely come out of the shell. It is a long, slow process, and the baby turtle takes many naps between attempts to get out of the shell. But they finally make it out, usually after a day or two. This was the first baby snapping turtle to completely make it out of its shell. Throughout the week, 19 of 20 eggs hatched. Here are some of the other hatchlings. When they first hatch, they have an egg sac on the bottom of their shell. This egg sac provides the baby turtle with food, the nourishment it needs to survive. Now, let's take a look at the first week of these 19 
baby turtles hatching out of their shells. There are five eggs in this container. If you'll notice, one of the eggs is darker than the rest, the one in the bottom right of the picture. That is the only egg of the 20 that I found that did not hatch. When they completely hatch from their smaller container and are actively moving around, I move them into a larger container that's still inside the incubator so they have more space to move around. I hope you enjoyed watching the baby hatchling snapping turtles. It was an amazing experience for me. After a few days when their egg sac shrinks down and is barely noticeable, I let them have their first swim. I made a separate video for their first swim and feeding. So if you have some time, please check that one out. Thanks for watching.